All right, so we had a pretty significant downloadable update today. First of all, the shop did change and there's a ton of new stuff in it, but in particular, the avatar collaboration came out early. So I'll do a full gameplay and review on all three of these brand new skins, but they were supposed to come out tonight at the item shop reset, not this morning. So that's a surprise. But while you're looking at the shop, you may have noticed something. Let's go to a normal skin. How about Dream? Do you notice anything different on this screen? You might not notice it right away. How about on Shadow Ops? Well, if you still can't tell, they removed all the rarities on the skin. So for example, Invincible, nothing. No rarity at all. The new Toph skin, no rarity. So if we come to our locker, that's the same case here. Every single skin no longer has a rarity. For example, I think Flytrap was legendary, if I remember correctly, because he was 2,000 V-Bucks. Now, it just says Outfit Fortnite Style. So the Renegade skin right here, this used to be a green skin, aka Uncommon. Now, it's just an outfit. They completely removed the rarities. Now, there are some exceptions to this. The Dark series still is here. The DC series is still here. We've got the Frozen series as well. Then the Gaming Legends series, these all remain still. And of course, the Icon series are still here. And then the Lava and the Marvel, the Shadow series, the Slurp series, and the Star Wars series are all still here. And that's it. So everything else from Uncommon to Legendary have been removed. Now, obviously, when you go to search, you can't sort them by rarity like we used to be able to because the rarity is gone, except for the ones I mentioned on the top. So that kind of stinks. So let's see the official statement they put out about this. So it says removing cosmetic color tiers and names. The shop has evolved significantly to support multiple types of cosmetics and items across games. So we're retiring the old Battle Royale inspired system of colors and tags for cosmetic quality. Different series of cosmetics such as the Icon series or Gaming Legends series will still be there to help you find your favorite stuff. So that's all they say. And we'll talk about that more in a minute. Now, in addition, they mentioned this upcoming shop rotation dates for individual cosmetics. We recently removed the overall shop refresh timer and instead show the shop rotation time in every player's unique time zone. Beginning in late May 2024, we will also add the planned date that every individual item will rotate out of the shop to the item's description page. So let me just clarify what they meant by that entire paragraph. So in the item shop right now, there's no reset timer. We used to have the daily reset timer that showed us exactly when the shop would refresh. Now they took that away, obviously, that was a few weeks ago, and they give you your specific time that the shop resets. For me, it's 7 p.m. So that part was already true. Now, what they're saying in May 2024, for each item you click into, so for example, if we click into TOF, on this screen right here somewhere, it's gonna tell you when this rotates out of the shop. So if this is only in the shop today, it'll say rotates out April 10th, which is tomorrow. So that's gonna be handy because some of these brand new items that come into the shop, you never know how long they're gonna be there. And some of these items that you don't wanna see in the shop day after day, for example, let's go down to Lady Gaga. This one would say it doesn't rotate out of the shop until May. So you would know the exact date that the skin that you're looking at is gonna leave the shop. So that's gonna be super, super useful. Now let's go back to the retirement of all the rarities of the skins. So why would they do this? I honestly think it is about the price of the skins. So for example, this skin just came out, Hail, and it was selling for 1,200 V-Bucks. It was listed as a blue skin. That's rare rarity. So 1,200 V-Bucks for a blue skin. The issue some people were having is that he didn't come with a backplane. And most blue or rare rarity skins do have a backplane. So then you could point out, well, why does this blue rarity skin cost 1200 V bucks and not have a backlink. And you'd really see this all the time. Anytime a skin came out that had something wrong with it, people would point out the rarity and say, hey, that's either too expensive or too cheap based on its rarity. So Fortnite said, okay, if that's how we're gonna play, we're gonna remove rarities entirely. So the question is, is this good or is this bad for the game? And it's a mix up of both. Obviously it can be bad in many ways. For example, let's find a cheaper skin. So let's take the Jolly Jammer skin, this skin right here, used to be green rarity, which is uncommon. And it sold for 800 V-Bucks in the store. But if we click into her, she was a super valued skin. She's got four styles. So this could be bad because now they could say, well, maybe this is a 1500 V-Bucks skin now. 
because she's got four styles. So that would be terrible because there's no more rarity to distinguish the V-Bucks cost so they can make it any price they want. But I don't know if they're going to respect how they used to be in the shop. Again, for example, this used to be only 800. Will they change the price on this or is it just for new skins that come out? Obviously, if they do change the price and make this more than 800 V-Bucks, it's terrible. However, let's look on the opposite side of that because there were some extremely outdated skins and this is why it could be good. So for example, in the Dino Guard set, this skin right here, Rex, was legendary. 2,000 V-Bucks. Talk about an outdated skin from Chapter 1, Season 3. 2,000 V-Bucks. Nobody in this day and age would pay 2,000 V-Bucks for this skin. Same thing for Triceraops. Chapter 1, Season 3, legendary skin. No styles, no reactivity. What you see is what you get. 2,000 V-Bucks. Why were they 2,000 V-Bucks? Well, it was because they were gold or legendary rarity. Now, they're not. So they could sell this for 800 V-Bucks. They could sell it for 500 V-Bucks. They could sell it for whatever they want because there's no more rarity. So in that regard, it's good. So you can see how this is a mixed bag. I've seen a lot of people say, oh, this is terrible. The worst change ever. In some regards, yes, that's true. But just like I showed you in this regard, it's a good change. However, again, we don't know, like I said, if they're going to respect the old item shop prices. Because if they do, then this one's still going to be 2,000 V-Bucks and it's still going to be outdated. So it could just be for brand new skins that they release. So don't let everyone just persuade you and say this is the worst change of all time. It could be bad and it could be good. We just got to see how they implement it and play it out. So there you go. If you go to your locker and you notice all these skins without backgrounds, that's what happened. They deleted or, excuse me, retired all the rarities except for the super exclusive ones like DC and Marvel and Icon series, etc. So let me know in the comments, do you think this is a good change or a bad change? Like I said, in my opinion, it could be a little bit of both, but we'll find out. But don't forget that they're also adding the shop rotation dates for individual cosmetics, which means, of course, that we're going to see when every single item in the item shop rotates out. I can't tell you how many comments I've received asking me when something's going to rotate out of the item shop. Nobody really knows, or at least we didn't used to. Now we're going to be able to know for sure. But again, that doesn't happen until late May 2024 so next month hopefully you guys enjoy this video a like is always appreciated and don't forget to use my supporter grader code which is taper time